Hi, so welcome to this video. So today I'm going to do the mole equation. So the number of moles equals the mass divided by the molecular weight. So to work out the molecular weight or the atomic mass or the, uh, uh, what, are, what other words can we use? Um, pretty much molecular weight or the molar mass, that's the other one. So the molar mass, some people use the big M to represent that. So to work that out, we need to look at the periodic table and we look up the mass of each of the individual atoms. So for example, if I'm looking up sodium chloride and I want to work out the molecular weight for sodium chloride, on my periodic table, I look it up and sodium's around about 23 and chlorine is around about 35.5. So to work out the molecular weight for this, I would add those two together because there's one of each. If I had two sodiums, I would multiply the weight of sodium by two. But I only have one in this one, so let's, let's move forward there. So grabbing your calculator and putting it in. So I get 58.5 uh, atomic mass units or uh, grams per mole for the molecular molecular weight there. So I'll just do one more just so you can see um, how it's done. So let's do sulfuric acid, so H2SO4. So the molecular weight or molar mass would be two hydrogens. So looking up hydrogen, it's around about one. So I'll just round it to one. So we've got two lots of the hydrogen. So the subscript two says I've got two hydrogens. I've got one sulfur. So sulfur is uh, sulfur is 32. And then we've got four lots of oxygen, which is 16 each. Okay, so I've got two lots of one. I've got a 32 for the sulfur and I've got four lots of oxygen at 16. So adding that up on my calculator, so I've got 64 uh, plus 32 plus 2. So I get 98 grams per mole. So that's how we can work out our molar mass or molecular weight. So we'll need this to work out the number of moles um, because it's the molecular weight and the mass is in grams, okay? So, and the molecular weight is grams per mole of the, of the units. Now let's try a simple question. So I wanna know how many moles are in 27 grams of H2O? And I wanna know the moles. So how would I do that? I would go to my formula. You might see it as a triangle, it might be easier. So number of moles is the mass divided by the molecular weight. This is your division line, this is your multiplication. So if I'm looking up moles, it's the mass divided by the molecular weight. If I wanna look up the mass, it's the number of moles times the molecular weight. So that's how we use those triangles. So either method, uh, whatever sits better with your understanding or what you've done in the past. So I've got 27 grams of water. So looking at, uh, we'll look at the triangle here. So 27 grams would be the mass. The molecular weight I can work out from the chemical formula. And then that just gives me the moles that's unknown. So my mass equals 27 grams. My molecular weight or molar mass is um, two times hydrogen, which is one and oxygen is 16, so I've got 16 plus two is 18 grams per mole. So therefore my number of moles equals my mass divided by my molecular weight, which equals uh, 27 divided by 18, which gives me 1.5 moles. So let's do one now where I'm trying to find out my mass. So let's say my moles is 0 0.1 moles 
and my molecular weight, so my formula for this one can be CO2 and I want to know uh, what is the mass. So my mass is my unknown. So I can work out my molecular weight. So carbon is 12 and I've got 2 times 16 for the oxygens. So 32 and 12 gives me 44 grams per mole. So I've got my moles, I've got my molecular weight, and I'm finding out my mass. So it's mass is my moles times my molecular weight. So therefore my mass equals my number of moles times my molecular weight, which equals 0 0.1 times 44, which gives me 4.4 mole or moles. Um, so you can just do moles. So that's very simply how we go between number of moles, mass, and how to work out the molecular weight to put that into the formula. Thank you.